Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. <clears throat> Today we are going to start our second lab of this course, which is microprocessor systems and interfacing. And today we are going to learn how to move the how to move the different data into the working register, and that will be start of our semi language programming in pick 18 f using this MP lab environment. Uh, which we have already uh, learned in the first first lab of first lab tutorial. So, if you remember, we have learned in last lab how to create a new project uh, inside this MP Lab software. Uh, if any one of you have missed that lab, so I will suggest go and watch that video tutorial so that you can actually uh, be up to the level of this lab. So I'm, uh, I have used, uh, I have created a new uh, MP lab project using the same steps that I have explained in the first lab tutorial. So, and today we are going to use uh, this project uh, to uh, achieve the target or achieve the objective of today's lab. And today's objective is basically moving a date, moving a data inside working register, right? So that will be our uh, goal of uh, today's lecture. And you can say that uh, uh, before we start to this lab, we need to know about working register. Uh, just in few words, working register is a 8-bit register, which is available inside this PIC 18F452. And you can save, uh, you can use it as an accumulator. I mean, you can use this register for a temporary storage purpose. You can use it as uh, as an accumulator device, right? And furthermore, detail we have already uh, discussed in theory class. So I'm not going to go inside the theory theory of this working register. And if you uh, have missed that class as well, I will suggest go and watch uh, the theory class of this week. So let's start our command. So keyword of this command would be what move literal to working, move LW, right? And you have to place the data, whatever the data you want to place inside this working register. So let's say two, four hacks is the data. Okay, before we go and discuss this thing, uh, I think we need to discuss one more thing, uh, which is uh, extra to this lab. Uh, I hope at this stage, you know that hexadecimal symbols uh, for example, one, uh, for example, four hex, right? For example, is uh, hat four hex is uh, a hexadecimal number and it is composition of four binary bits. So four hex will be equal to what? Zero, one, double, zero, hex, uh, zero, one, double, zero, right? Similarly, if I want to write uh, five hex, that will be equal to, that's very common. I hope you have already understood in uh, DLD lectures, but uh, for just for the sake of your revision, I'm just repeating it. Five hacks will be equal to zero one zero one. Six hacks will be considered as what? Uh, zero one one zero, right? Seven hacks will be equal to what? Zero one one one, right? Similarly, this this uh, hexadecimal number goes to eight hacks, nine hacks. And then there is no 10, but we have to use uh, alphabetical symbols. So A hex, which is equal to 10. So its binary will be equal to what? Binary equal to 1010. 0, 0. Similarly, the next number will be B hex, the next C hex, D hex, and E hex, and F hex, right? So F, F equivalent in binary will be equal to four times once. So these are, these are the hexadecimal symbols. So I hope you have remind, this particular practice has reminded for you. So let's lead them and discuss the, our original topic, which is move literal to working. So move literal to working is basically MOV literal, right? So this command means move literal number into the working, working, working register, right? So 
move literal number. What is a literal number, right? Literal number means a literal number means what? A constant number. Or you can also write immediate number. A number which is provided by the programmer itself, right? So here 2, 4 hertz is a constant number or a literal number or it is a immediate number which is provided by the programmer, by us, right? And MOVLW is keyword for this uh, procedure which is we want to prove, we, we want to move 2, 4 hertz inside the working register. That's why we have used this uh, keyword, right? So that's it. Uh, this is our Okay, let me delete them because this is something which is not needed here. So I hope you know it now. Uh, okay, one thing more that I want to change from the previous code, which is this 00, zero hacks, you know, this 00, zero hacks is starting address of our program. We have also discussed it in the last tutorial as well or in the last online session as well. So uh, right, uh, rather we start with zero zero hex. I'm going to start with two a hex, and you should also make this thing habit. And why we are making it two a hex? We are not starting with zero zero. Rather, we are starting with what address zero? Uh, uh, sorry, z we are starting with two a hex. Right? We can also write zero x two a hex. It is same as if we write zero. Uh, sorry, if we write two a hex. So if uh, we can write. 2a hex in this fashion as well and we can also write uh, 2a hex in this fashion as well so i'm gonna use this fashion and make it your habit uh, why we are going to see in a couple of labs uh, but at this stage uh, this point need not to be cleared because we have to discuss some other facts as well and then this point will become much more clear right so uh, what is the next thing that we're not gonna do we have to we have to watch our working register. So how can we observe our working register content? Uh, you see this menu bar, this menu bar, file, edit, view, project, and so on. Last time we used this project menu, but this time we're gonna use this view. So in this menu bar, we're gonna select view and we click on it. So there is a menu. And from the last, if you go, you see this uh, watch, right? This watch, right? So I'm gonna click it, watch. So there is a separate window of watch and you know, there is this thing add SFR and then there is a drop menu. In this drop menu, you can select this WREG. WREG is basically equivalent to working register. So WREG, remember WREG is equal to what working register, right? So working register is same as WREG. Uh, so I'm gonna select it in this drop menu working reg and then add sfr what is sfr uh, okay let me delete the earlier okay view and i'm gonna remove the last data and then wreg I selected it and then add SFR. Okay, I was saying what is SFR? Okay, I mean, let's make it zero zero because I was testing some other thing. So it is not zero zero. So I'm just making it zero zero because at this stage we haven't put any value inside this working register. So that is why this is equal to what? Uh, zero zero hacks, right? And I'm gonna show you this value. Uh, this is the value, right? Zero, zero hex. So what is SFR? SFR is a special function register which are part of file register or RAM of microcontroller. Uh, and we're gonna see these things in detail in our theory class. But at this moment, we are just interested in working register and its value and its current value is what zero, zero. So uh, this is one thing that we want to be see and Seen and the next thing that we want to see is we have to click again on view and then we have to go to program memory right in this menu there is a program memory button and we have to choose it program memory okay 
uh, this is our program memory okay at this stage i hope you know what is difference between program memory and data memory program memory is a portion of memory which is used to install store the program right to store the code that you going to write right and the ram is the pro is the portion of memory in which uh, we are going to uh, manipulate the data like working register working register is part of pro data memory right in which we are going to put certain data and then we going to process it according to our wishes according to our need of application but program memory is a portion of the code is the program is the portion of the memory in which code is placed right so this is our program memory and this is the starting address of our program memory you see this green cursor green cursor is showing this is starting address so at this stage uh, program memory uh, program memory is, is initiated with the 00 address right and there is this nop 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 means no operation right so this is the code for no operation which is written in these lines so if you go and watch it completely there is a complete bunch of program memory so uh, this is started with this 00 hex right okay the next thing that we going to see is debugger slack tool it's already selected i'm going to okay look this is already selected so i'm just this portion right uh, i hope you can see it if you can't let me highlight it for you uh where is it yes okay this portion this portion is very important portion if it is not visible to your mp mp lab environment how you can visualize it let me show you how you going to do it go you have to go to debugger and then there is a slack tool right you have to go to debugger and there is a slack tool and then there is a fourth option right or fifth option maybe uh, that is called mp lab sim right so if you check it this window will appear right this is very important tool this is very important debugger tool you have to use it very frequently that is why i will suggest and place it here right uh, maybe you have it just installed mp lab that's why it is not shown to you that's why i told you how you can access this value right so now how you gonna uh, use it let me show you uh, okay let me you you see this thing this is called step into there is called step over there is called step out so these are step by step procedure you can do it and uh, there is only one command which is written move little to working 24 hacks right okay before we go and uh, uh, compile or be, before we go and run this program step by step i mean using this step into uh, we have to compile our program and how can we compile our program you using this make button i hope you remember it uh, just to Uh, show you let me again highlight it this is our make button you go and click on it it will work for you right so make button you have to press it now this output window will appear you see uh, our okay let me you see this is this is now build succeeded that means there was no error as well there there, there was no error at all so that means uh, our project is working very fine or successfully it is builded right so okay i'm gonna show it yes everything is now in order so now we can proceed how what we are going to do we have to go to step into right as i press this button look uh, it is initiated and it started as 00 hacks right and it's starting with 002 again 04 uh, again 06 so address are being incremented where we will find our code our code will be placed at what this address 2a hex right this is our uh, starting address of the code right our code will be started from this point right so we need to go to 2a hex so 6x 8x a c e 10 as uh, 1 2 1 so where will be 2a where that will be here right you see 2a here i hope you can so uh, you can see it let me show you uh the where is it yes here it is look this is 2a and the content which is written here let me show you it is 0e24 and that is equivalent to what that is equivalent to move literal to working 24 hacks that means e0 e24 is a machine code which is 
just understand by the microprocessor or microcontroller itself but move little to working to four hacks it's something which we can understand that means it is the assembly language right and 2002a is the starting address right so this is something that i wanted to show you okay let's delete it and let's proceed to okay let's uh, let's click on step into again so we are at the line 008 okay let me delete these highlighters so that things become more easier okay step into again step into step into i'm just pressing it unless i'm arriving at the right address so the right address is 2628 okay that's it 28 now you can see the screen button is this a green arrow is not green arrow is not uh, only shown in this program memory but this is also shown here right that means you can actually uh, see that now this line is going to get executed what is the line move literal to working two four hacks that means the value of working register will become two four that is the last the initially the value is what zero zero hacks if you can't see it let me show you uh, here is it zero zero hacks so current value of uh, working register is what zero zero hacks but it will become what it will become two four hacks as i'm going to execute this line so i'm going to execute this line using this step and two button now you can see that this is becoming equal to two four hacks so i hope you can understand how this command works and how how this command modifies the content of working register it becomes two four hacks right okay these are uh, the things that i wanted to discuss in the lab okay i can also change it right i can also change it for example i can also make it for example i can make it uh, what three zero hacks so the content will become what three zero hacks of this working register and how i can do it i have to make our i have to compile like uh, compile again of the overall project will this succeed it i have to close the open window uh, output window and then I can again go and step into, but that will be very last, uh, very, very, uh, very uh, uh, long procedure. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it just through run button. So this, there is a run button as well in this portion uh, in the debugger tool. So if you press this run button, the automatically whole program, whatever the line number it is started, it will execute it. So for example, I'm going to press run button. So you see overall program is executed and the value is updated three zero hacks i hope you can see it okay furthermore if you want to see the uh, equivalent value or you can say the uh, equivalent decimal value which is equal to 48 you can see here so in this fashion you can actually put any 8-bit value inside this working register i hope everything is clear in this uh, lab uh, I mean, so what we have learned today, we have learned uh, how you can move uh, eight bit value inside this working register. And that's how this uh, working register uh, can be used using a mm, semi language. So if you have any query or if you have any uh, point which could which you could not understand using this uh, video tutorial, you can post uh, your queries in comment section and those who are my student can actually uh, we can also resolve your, your queries in uh, online sessions. Thank you so much for listening.